I'm Allie and welcome back to my channel where I talk about perfumes and whatever else the fuck I want to. Today I'm talking about the difference between Maison Margiela Jasper versus its dupe by a company called Dossier called Woody Tobacco. My whole perfume journey pretty much started from me learning about this dupe company, Dossier. A friend from work had mentioned it and told me that I should check it out, so I did, and this was really my introduction to perfumes. So I ordered a couple, actually ended up ordering the Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe, but it gave me a headache, it smelled horrible, I just didn't really like it, so I actually returned a bunch of them. There's a weird synthetic smell, and yeah, I just ended up only keeping one of those, which was the Woody Tobacco. I've been wearing both of these, one on each wrist, to try to discern if there's any difference between the two and you know right off the bat we'll just we're going to talk about everything so first and foremost the price that's the most noticeable difference this is a 50 milliliter yeah this is a 50 milliliter bottle and it cost me around 30 dollars this is the 100 milliliter bottle and i bought it at a discount warehouse store for 95 dollars somewhere around there if you buy this bottle new, it costs $160 from the website. So right off the bat, huge difference in price. The bottle. I actually really like the Dossier bottles. They are sturdy. You know, it's a, it's a thick glass. I really like that there's a cap and there's a magnetized strip. So it just clicks back into place, which I find is really nice. I don't really like the bottle of the Maison Margiela. I don't like that there isn't any cap, and it kind of has a cheap looking, it just, it's like a cheap plastic. So I just don't really like that, and I've also heard of people's bottles breaking a lot, like the, the sprayer breaking. I've seen quite a few of those on Mercari. You know, believe it or not, this is one of the cheaper or more inexpensive perfumes that are out there, popular perfumes. Maybe they used a cheaper bottle and a cheaper sprayer to help make the overall cost slightly less expensive. So th those are the things that I don't like so far. But I do like what I'm trying to say. All right. Aside from the price, let's talk about, and the bottle, let's talk about some other noticeable differences. The color and the ingredients of the juice. So the color, there is actually added color in the Jazz Club, so I looked up all the ingredients for both. All the notes, the top notes, middle notes, and base notes are all the same for both, because why would they write anything different if they're trying to be a, make a dupe? It doesn't really make any sense. When you compare the ingredient list side by side, there are some noticeable differences in actual ingredients and composition. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot more ingredients in the dossier's dupe, but it does not have it does not have any dyes. So that is actually one thing I don't really care for is the dyes. I don't really need I don't know. I don't need my perfume to be dyed. It does look nice, but it that just doesn't matter to me. The the smell is what matters to me. Yeah, so it says the top notes for this are pink pepper, lemon, Get to the smell, what is a smell? The top notes in Jazz Club are pink pepper essence, primo fiore, lemon oil, neroli oil, the middle notes are rum, absolute, clary, sage, oil, java, vetiver oil, and the base notes are styrax, resin, tobacco leaf, absolute, and vanilla bean, CO2. I think overall, Jazz Club is a deeper, woodier, more vanillic, tobacco, spicier smell. It's sexier overall. It just, it smells richer to me. And maybe it is because I spent more, I just know that. It's more pleasant overall. I think with the Dossier Woody Tobacco, in the open especially, you get more of the bright lemon, and the pink peppercorn, those are, you know, they're front and center. And I don't necessarily, like it's a little bit, what's the word? My dog is 
working. Yeah, this is just more polarizing up front. It's not as smooth and silky as the Replica Jazz Club. It seems to be a little bit more brighter and harsher. And I don't get a lot of vanilla in this at all. Where I get a little bit more vanilla and more powder in the Jazz Club. I also get more of a tobacco smell. And it's just, it is just smoother overall. It's like smooth butter. Where this is kind of like butter but there's chunks in it and it's just not the most pleasant. I have to say though, for the price, I don't know if anybody would really be able to tell the difference if you didn't have a comparison side by side, to be honest. And for the price, I think if you are a person who's okay with knowing that you're wearing a dupe, then I think this is a good dupe. For 30 bucks, I mean, yeah, you can't really, you can't beat that. It just, it isn't for me. I can just, I don't like that bright lemon pink peppercorn up front. I just, there's something that's a little bit plasticky, a little bit synthetic. I can just tell that there's something subtly wrong with it. <laughs> And the Jazz Club is really, it's just, it reminds me of bars in San Francisco. There's kind of a muskiness to it. Maybe somebody's smoking a cigar in the back. Maybe, you know, there's a lot of whiskey going around. There's a lot of rum. And it's just, you know, you get whiffs of some woman's or man's cologne. And that's what this reminds me of. But yeah, it just, it dries better, and it just, overall, I like the Jazz Club the best. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. Well, there you have it, folks. This is the clear winner for me. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I really sound like a YouTuber now. I'm starting to sound like a real YouTuber now.